Numerical is now one month and six days old, and it's fair to say that for the past month, things have looked overall great, in my personal opinion, and the stats show it, all right? So I'm a bit late on producing the monthly report. I think I will make a post on the Telegram group today, but we are looking decent. So approximately the return has been around 4.6 to 4.7% for the month of July. And the goal overall is to keep the return on USDC within that range. What I want to talk about today, however, is not the return, is not the functionalities of the DAP, because all of this is on my YouTube channel. You can go check it out. I want to focus on just, you know, hinting a few things regarding the strategy that we employ. I did, you know, talk about this on our main community uh, chat, so DeFi Ascension, but I recently added an extra page on the Gitbook just to reference the idea of what is going on behind the scenes. So the label hedge farming, I'm not sure if it's out there, I haven't looked, but this is exactly what is going on in our strategies. So the overall idea is that the capital right now, there is about, if you go to the DAP, you will see there is about 9,122 USDC invested. So that is the approved TBL. Remember, there's a difference between pending and approved. Again, if you don't know what it is, please refer to prior videos or the glossary itself. So everything is here for you to know. 40% versus 60% of the capital is what's being utilized in two different setups. On one hand, so the 40%, is being put in boarding stuff, so auto compounding LR, uh, LSTs. So we're talking about derivatives of stable coins, for example, on platforms like ExtraFi, where you can get a higher return, a higher APY, just by leaving it there and letting it, uh, letting it add up. Using some LSTs, again, those are carefully used and not just random ones. There's a small study behind this. So when we talk about studying uh, LSTs, we're talking about who is the project behind them? Do they have reserves? Do you mint them or simply buy them? How is pack capped? So all of these things are happening. Then it is picked. If there is potential to get the highest return, then we go there and we leverage that. So on one hand, you have this strat that adds up every day and that is left on the sidelines. However, the active strategies is alt LP. And what I mean here is that, again, there are a large set of criterias that are used to keep to pick up some alts on aerodrome for example and then you pair those alts with usdc and once that pair is in the return should be at a certain level so of course if it's low it doesn't make sense to compensate the risk the return should be high and then with that high return comes in the yield distribution and some of it is set aside for potential and permanent loss coupled with the initial strategy that is the LST auto compounding strategy. Now, it all sounds nice, all right? So again, it's not uh, a strategy created out of thin air. It's not something that doesn't exist out there, but it's a combination of few things. Of course, all of this is pre-calculated. All of this is not just random numbers. All of this is not just super uh, as if I'm rolling the dice and choosing one of them and then doing all of these things combined together. Like I said, there are criteria that predetermine all of this. But let me give you an example of how this would look like. All right. So I compiled a small example just for you to understand what we're dealing with here. So let's say we are at 10,000 TVL, right? So 40% that's 4K, 60% that's 6K. Now, just for the sake of simplicity, assuming that I have started my way into, uh, into the project with choosing a 40% return on the LST or LSTs, all right? I'm not talking about just one, but could be more. Now, with that in mind, we're talking about 10-day epochs, right? So after 10 days here, I would have a surplus of $88.54, all right? So assuming that, again, the return is 80% annualized, but that auto compounds, so that increases over time. So $88 as a surplus after 10 days. 
Now the 6k that I have, you know, left, I have decided to go into an alt that gives a return of 200%. Remember, this is risky, so impermanent loss is a thing. Now, again, this is all simplistic. It's not exactly what it is. There's more to it, and it's also spreading thing across risk. So it's not just one alt, but more than one. But anyways, so we have our 200% return on $6,000. So that would give me roughly about 32.88 a day. Now add up to 10 days, that's a total of $361.64. But that is if everything is rosy, everything is all well, the price of the alt that I went in, by the way, which I assumed is at $6, let's say random alt when I entered. However, if the price appreciates, then my initial capital increases, which is amazing, right? But as we all know, with these types of risky alts, and because they would potentially be using those tokens to bribe on Aerodrome, for example, so they're giving away free tokens, which could potentially be sold when Epoch flips, that price is likely to decrease. Now, again, if the opposite happens, then more yield is going to investors and the reserve increases slightly, for the potential you know drop and for example to compensate with the huge market meltdown that happened yesterday and the day before yesterday if reserves were not at the standard then in permanent loss would have dragged the capital down but it didn't we're still above and that is you know one of the main reasons why it's nice to provide a higher yield in uh, let's say epoch one but then Epoch 2 comes in, things go to hell, and then you have less money. So overall, you know, the strategy of just putting everything in one basket and giving everything away doesn't work for anyone. To have this be a sustainable place overall to put and park your SDC uh, in, then this strategy for us was carefully implemented and it works. All right. Again, going back to that example, 10 days in, we are right now at a surplus of $361.64. Great, so that's the yield that will go in minus the performance fee. However, let's say when Epoch flips, that price drops into 5.5, right? So let's say there is here approximately a 9% drop, which is feasible, which is usually what you would expect. Now, suddenly my capital, so my initial capital is at a deficit of $250, but I still made about $346. Now again, this number updated because it assumes that this is the initial capital, so it will be a bit more than that. So let's go with 360 with the number that we previously saw, assuming that that drop happened all at once. So right now, I can cover my deficit and still have about 100, a bit less, so 90-ish, uh, dollars to give out in yield so in this case even though i encountered in permanent loss i still could fix that so i still could you know uh, have the whole hole so to speak and at the same time a decent amount of yield went into investors and i still have my 88 dollars on top from the uh, other hedging strategy, which by the way will help me if I don't utilize that to fix the hole, because if you go down below, let's say to Epoch 2, so 20 days in, now I have a surplus of $179. Keep in mind that in this case, after you know 20 days, if the price drops further, let's say to $5, then I'm still fine because 20 days in, my yield, is still higher than the deficit that I encountered from impermanent loss. So the difference is now 100-ish, which I can give away to investors as potential yield, which the DAP does by itself, by the way. And then, boom, I'm still at a surplus from my hedging side. And that could be used if the price dropped further than what I'm showing you right now. So overall, this is how the strategy works, all right? So you have to at the end of the day, manage your risk. And I'm not talking about this per se. This is just to give you an example that overall, you can still come out a winner if you do well for yourself and understand what you're doing and try to manage it all with a very 
moderate risk approach because going all in and then just chasing yield overall without thinking what's going on in the background and permanent loss could be your undoing and again if the yield doesn't outpace that then it's all for nothing and that's something that you should remember all of the links for the DAP, the glossary the main website all of these links are in the description below and I encourage you to join both Telegram, the announcement channel, as well as the main chat to just stay aware and stay on top of everything. Any questions, feel free to reach out. With that, see you in the next one. Have a good one.